26-year-old partner advertised his ex-wife by her real name on Facebook with erotic photographs. Police in Champaign obtained an arrest warrant against the ex-partner who solicited a Thai woman for prostitution online as revenge. He later told investigating police that he had angered him by leaving home after continuous flirting with other men. A jealous former partner who advertised his 25-year-old ex-wife as a prostitute on Facebook with erotic photographs of her taken when they were in a relationship was arrested this week in Champaign on a court warrant and is facing criminal prosecution. His distraught ex-wife told police that the man's actions had destroyed her reputation in local society. A complaint filed by a Thai woman who fled her abusive husband and who later published obscene photographs of her on Facebook has led to police raiding the man's home and discovering a stash of marijuana plants in addition to evidence of his criminal activities online. 26-year-old Mr. Ni Wat Phum Nikit from the Say District in the southern province of Chumpon this week owned up to a series of offenses connected with the dissemination of lewd and obscene material online. He is also facing charges in relation to the possession of drugs as police investigate the matter further. 25-year-old ex-wife went to police with evidence that she was being advertised for sex on Facebook. His wife, named by police only as 25-year-old Ms. Sam Eing, was forced to go to police authorities when her former partner published erotic photos of her on a fake Facebook page inviting users to come and pay for sexual relations with her. Explosive growth in online sexual posts with malicious intent in Thailand as online activity grows. There has been an explosive growth in blackmail and revenge publishing like this in Thailand over the last few years with the growth and penetration of the internet and social media platforms. It has also been accompanied by an effort by enterprising and calculating individuals not only to blackmail others but also to produce erotic materials and market it online using partners close friends, the unsuspecting public using of planted video cameras as well as purchasing erotic clips. Such activity is highly illegal under some long-standing provisions of Thailand's criminal law and more recently, under the Draconian Computer Crime Act. This week, Ms. Som Yom brought police comprehensive printed evidence taken from the Facebook social network site to indicate what had happened. Chumpon Police Launch Investigation an investigation was opened by senior officers at Muin Chumpon Police Station led by the director of the station, Colonel Chanan Narang Noi and Police Lieutenant Colonel Montri Kurdmi. She explained to the horrified policeman that the 26-year-old Mr. Niwat was her former husband or partner. However, he had become abusive and regularly resorted to violence towards her including beatings and physical intimidation. She told officers that he would force her to lie in provocative sexual poses for him. She complied because she feared that otherwise, he would turn on her. She said because of this ongoing abuse, she had fled the 26-year-old's home two months ago to make a new life. Woman says she was advertised as a prostitute. However, recently, her ex-husband had published the photos on Facebook and accompanied the images with her real name and identity. He was advertising her as a prostitute. The action by her former partner had caused her to lose face and be humiliated in front of her friends and local society, she told the police. The incident caused her severe mental distress. Warrant issued by provincial court for the arrest of the 26-year-old man after police confirmed evidence. Officers immediately moved to have a warrant issued by the Chumpon Provincial Court based on extensive and confirmed evidence that a serious crime had been perpetrated against the woman. The man was arrested by police shortly after at home. The accused was taken to Chumpon Police Station where he was placed under interrogation. He admitted the crimes. Man argued to police that he was provoked. Mr. Niwat told police he had been provoked into taking this course of action due to his ex-wife's behavior. He told officers that he was aware that his partner was secretly communicating with other men on a nightly basis. He said this had caused him to become angered. The situation grew even worse when his wife left him for another man. He admitted to police that his motive was revenge and that he had intended to hurt his ex-wife through his actions. Now also facing drug possession charges. Police then confronted the man, already facing prosecution on quite serious criminal charges for his exploits online, with evidence of marijuana plants being found at his home. Mr. Niwat claimed that he was a drug user but police are to prosecute him for being in possession of the drug which is still a Category 5 prohibited substance. Further reading. Online child abuse is being exploited as a business opportunity by some Thai porn barons with networks. Porn web preying on Thai women in Bangkok. Arrest of the fiend at the heart of the blackmail and deceit.
Thai man arrested for blackmail scheme targeting Thai women whom he paid to send him sex clips. Russian couple arrested, charged and fined for having sex in public on a Pattaya beach shown on video clip.